Yeah, you right there guys? Um, I'm just going to do a few different things here with fish, basically. I'm going to show you how to steam it, if you're at home, with colander, bowl, it's a bit of lemon in the water, a bit of parchment paper, okay? We're going to do steam trout, we're going to do poached salmon, we're going to do pickled sea bass, we're going to show you how to do really crispy sea bass as well, and then I'm going to show you how to do like a nice butter burger sauce, okay? Right, so. We've already got the water on for the poaching. It's just got a few things in there, a bit of lemon, chilli if you like chilli. It's versatile, you can do whatever you want. You can just drop the fish in. That's going, okay? Trout, just going to roll it up. Got a little bit of parchment paper. Just gonna place it there. This is a healthy way, but I mean if you obviously just add a little bit of salt if you want, then just let the paper rest on top. Right. Got a little bit of sea bass, which actually I'm not gonna do sea bass. I'm going to do place. So I'm going to pickle the place. Basically in here, vinegar, sugar, lime juice, lemon juice, chilli, onions, fennel, carrot. Just drop in there. Bring it to a boil and then you just want to let it simmer really slowly. Same when you're poaching, okay? Right, so right now, I'm going to do the sea bass, get really, really crispy. Pan's really hot. I cut slits in the fillets. That helps keep it flat. Get a lot of salt on there. Right, just drop it in. Right, when you take it on, pull it in and then you take it off. It will drop back down and it will get really crispy. Just take it off the heat for a little while and you'll see it will go flat again and then you can put it straight back on and that's how you're going to get a really crispy tin but this doesn't take long so just have a little check so you see the trout's almost poached just leave that there oh sorry it's steamed the salmon's almost there on the poaching and this is almost picked up the face so we're cooking the sea bass. Let's have a little sea. You know when it's getting crispy, can you see right around the edge? You see it'll start going brown, but this one hasn't actually started going brown. Salad, I would say, is the best way. Oh, 
I'll leave this one over here. Right. You see it's reducing. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Start smelling the capers. Now we're going to start adding butter. Little bits at a time. Flesh down, skin side up, which you can see is really crisp. I'm just going to cook it out of it. Come over here. With this steam technique, all you need to do is take the scales, colander off. Make sure you keep that in the sauce over the fish, okay? Try it again. Just serve with a bit of salad. If you really want to be healthy, this summer. Nasty. That only took no less than five minutes. It starts to get a little bit thicker. It starts to get really rich. So you've already got the crispy skin and now you're getting all the flavour into the fish. A little bit of pepper. Depending on how you eat your salmon, depends on how long you really want to cook it for. Most people like it well done all the way through. So, Five minutes. Really quick. Take a few of the cases. Done. Obviously, last but not